We are Luca and Sara. For the past three years, we have been living and traveling in our ultra camper with the freedom to explore the world. But for the past five weeks, we have been confined to a campground in Patagonia, Argentina, and every day is getting more challenging. Give me your strength. Good morning, beautiful people. Good morning. How are you doing, guys? We hope that you are safe, that you are still home with your families, with your friends. We have kind of update. Yes, right. uh, since uh, five, four days uh, we have been uh, without internet connection, uh, they uh, shut down uh, our Wi-Fi here at the campground, uh, so we have to walk uh, five blocks uh, in order to mm, go to Diego's house uh, and uh, be able to upload and uh, and put all the settings of the videos and to be able to call our families because you know they are in Italy and the only way we have to communicate with them is uh, via internet via Wi-Fi connection okay guys so now we will be exiting the gate uh, so we have to wear the masks uh, and uh, walk uh, there in the meantime I would like to say that there were really difficult days for for Luca and I and we have we have been living some difficult moments so even if we try always to stay positive this is what happened we will miss you a lot you know can you explain us about what is going on, Sara? Okay, so the embassy, the consulate just... <laughs> the, the consulate, the embassy just sent us an email saying that probably there will be a plane uh, from Buenos Aires to Italy in the next few days. So we need to leave this place and go to towards Buenos Aires. So we are not 100% sure, but what we are 100% sure is we don't want to abandon the cat here, Lynche, because what the, the red cat, the orange cat, he always comes and goes every day, so it's not here with us. The dogs are okay because they will stay with the, the two owners of the campground. So they are 100% okay. The only one left here with us is Lynche, and you know, we stay together one, more than one month, so we are attached. <laughs> We love Lynch so much. We managed to to contact the family. Uh, they are coming here. Uh, it's a lady it's called Anto. We don't know if we will be able to film it, but she's coming here. She already has uh, some dogs and, and some cats. We wrote a post on Facebook. We offered to pay for for the vaccine because we don't know if Lynch has all the vaccination or not. And and for the food so this lady said that it's okay we will take care of the first uh, vaccination that will be in the next day and then she will take care of the rest so we are so grateful so lucky i'm just crying because you know i love cats and staying together with Lynche was one of the reason every day <laughs> while here i was waking up and i was together with luca and we were so happy to have someone uh, so it's it's always hard to say goodbye to to someone. We are sh sure that she will be in a good environment with love, with a family, with kids. And in good hands. Yes. So now we we'll wait for the new owner to come. We're in this together now. We're in this together now. Give me your love. We are waiting now for Ant to come here. The two past days were unbelievable, uh, were crazy because we receive every few hours opposite directions from opposite, <laughs> from the embassy, from the consulate, from everyone. So they say, no, there will be no fly back home. Yes, there will be a flight back home. Be ready to leave. And then a few hours later, no, 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 stay where you are. You cannot move. Yes, okay. So it was really, really, really a mess, really confusion for us. And now they said, we receive an email from, from the, the embassy. embassy saying, okay, there, there will be this flight, this plane available, but online they are having like 
technical problems they say like this so we are not being able to no. buy it yet uh, and without a plane you know that we cannot move from the camp and then reach buenos aires yeah if we we don't have uh, the the ticket in our hands uh, so if we are not able to buy the ticket uh, without the ticket we cannot make the document uh, that allowed us to drive uh, from here to buenos aires the capital that is the only airport uh, that flies international there will be just 130 places seats on the on the plane because and the plane has to be half empty because they have to keep uh, the social distance uh, between uh, passengers uh, so and probably the flight will cost 2000 euro each this is what they are so saying so we, we don't know wow. as terrible. i said the limbo that we are living it's terrible is we are trying to stay positive as you may know but we cannot uh, lie to you we last night was really really unpleasant we didn't sleep we are not sleeping since one week guys we are getting crazy we are not feeling good tonight we are crying we are overwhelmed and we don't know what to do anymore it's really frustrating uh, I try to we trying to stay strong but it's really difficult the the car has internet uh, we only have internet on our phones uh. but it's not always working 100 yeah. percent so it's really difficult to communicate with our family to communicate with the embassy to read emails to send emails to upload videos to answer to your comments it's really even now if we have to buy yes. straight away the the tickets uh, to fly back home uh, we need a, a wi-fi we need a computer so we don't yeah, know it's it's yeah. really it's really hard guys as everyone else we are living our up ups and downs and last day yesterday was a down day we are happy today because we found a place for for lynche and this was the top one priority for us we are super happy for her but we are also super sad because we we need to say goodbye you want to catch some birds uh, on the tree we will miss you, Lynche. She, she grew up, I think. She grew yeah. up in one month. She, she's more beautiful than ever. She's, she's so special, <laughs> so sweet. Okay, guys, we need to start getting ready to pack uh, Lucky Liu because uh, we, we will have to move. Uh, uh, we don't know when, uh, but uh, as soon as uh, they will make us this document to drive, uh, we'll, we will have to leave. Uh, so we have to start uh, putting all this stuff back on Lucky Liu. That table, I have to undo all the table and put it in there. Disconnect some stuff. Uh, we have uh, the fridge that uh, Diego lent us uh, for this period uh, that is full of food. Uh, so we have to see what to do with that. Uh, I'm trying to figure it out also. They are saying that if it's crazy because like from New York to Rome, the flight right now, they cost 600 euro. And now they are for an emergency flight, they are asking Italians, they are stuck in Argentina, 2000 euro. So we are in this chat with other Italians stuck in Argentina. They are getting crazy because they, they are just using us. It's not possible that the plane is, it's, it's so expensive, you know. And there is a uh, people that are stuck in Argentina since months uh, that are, people without money they f they they finish the money there is a girl that she's alone uh, she's pregnant uh, she wants to go back home to italy and they're saying a few days ago the the embassy the government sorry they organized a flight from buenos aires to madrid for spain and they let pay the people 400 dollars so it's different than 2000 euro you know it's it's i, I think it's a political problem behind everything so and it's crazy also that uh, there are 700 uh, Argentinians back in Italy willing to come back here and they will fly this uh, airplane empty from yeah. Italy. So it will arrive empty from Italy here to go back. So they are not bringing back the Argentinians. So this make us think that there is a really political situation behind this. Uh, probably the Argentinian government uh, is afraid uh, that that 700 Argentinians uh, will come back. Uh, they don't want to deal with that. Hola, 
Les manda por WhatsApp fotos. Sí, por favor. Hola. Hola. Muchas gracias, Santo. No, de todo. nada, de nada. Vamos a hacer lo posible para que la gatita esté bien. Sí. She's saying that she will do everything possible that the cat will be okay. Gracias. And here is Linche ready to go. Yeah. Anto will will be the new mom of Linche. We are happy about this. That. If we need, we are not 100% sure that we will be able to go back home, but at least Linche will have a new family with a lot of love. Ciao a tutti quanti. Ciao. Bye bye. Thank you, everyone. <laughs> we will ask for some videos or picture. Yeah, she has WhatsApp, so we yeah. will try to ask her if she can send us some pictures or videos. What's going on, Sara? Okay, so uh, we are waiting since at 2 p.m. this afternoon the embassy sent us a message to say okay, there will be a flight available right now on the website of Alitalia. This is this uh, flight company. And we are waiting because it was not working until now. Now it's 7 p.m. We receive from other travelers that are waiting together with us since more than one month here in Argentina, stuck in Argentina. We go now on the website and they say that there are there are no flights available. So you can see, they say, okay, it, there will be a flight on the 23rd, but then you are not able to buy the tickets. I don't know what's going on exactly. I really don't know. I don't know what to, what to think about this. Incredible. This this group with all the Italians, they are getting crazy because people, first of all, they don't have the money. This should be an emergency flight to repatriate people. They are stuck in Argentina and a lot of them, they don't have medicine anymore. They don't have money anymore. They, there are some uh, couples that are really old, so they don't have social media. They don't know how to buy a ticket online. You know, sometimes they... They really don't know how it works. There's a girl a pregnant. Two pregnant girls, one young and one older. It's it's crazy. It's not working. Not working, guys. Crazy. Today is um, Monday. Monday the twenty of April. Non si fosse insomma non non si riuscisse a prendere questo volo. Perfetto. Ok, altrettanto. Grazie. Ok, it's kind of a paradox. Like now the. Ok, let's, let's start again trying to say something that is smart and intelligent, even if the situation is not smart or not intelligent. Sorry, we are cooking with the pressure cooker right now. Yeah, sorry, I'm uh, cooking uh, something. Uh, because we need to eat uh, this flight should be available but nobody it's can book this flight just one person was able to to buy the ticket and when you go on the website a website that is not working from the smartphone they cut our wi-fi connection a few days ago so the only way that we have to communicate with the world is this iphone with our data that we are paying every day to stay connected but there is a bug probably on the website and now after 30 minutes the website said that the on on the computer for the people that are working on the computer said it's fully booked so it's not available anymore any seat so i don't know if this is true or not i don't know if i need to believe this or not but there is something wrong in here i don't know what is wrong but it's not possible we are in contact with the consulate with the embassy they say they are with us but the only thing that the consulate can do in this moment is try to help us to organize the the movement from here where we are from las Grutas to buenos aires today has been a terrible day we had to say goodbye to lynch yes we we cried uh, <laughs> several times and several hours uh, because uh, was the only kind of positive thing uh, and uh, beautiful creature that was uh, here giving us uh, love so to today is a terrible day i'm so upset because they are just messing with us they are messing with our 
situation they are messing with our feelings we had the hope to go back home again 3763 euro. euro for a rescue flight for an emergency flight that should help people to go back home this is the price but then if you go to prosegui means next it doesn't allow us to go next we were thinking to to just run run away from this place it's getting uncomfortable it's miserable no possibility to to speak to call our parents for more than two minutes because then the internet connection broke they are not allowing us to move with the truck now it's it's 40 days like this and it's unbelievable how they are treating us i'm exhausted we are fighting Beside all the videos that we are producing, we are always in contact with the consulate and the embassy and this means that we need to do interview, we are trying to raise our voice on the social media, we create an Instagram profile for all the Italians that are stuck here, uh, writing to the foreign minister in Italy, La Farnesina, to everyone in Argentina, stay in contact with the police, the municipality, try to do everything perfect so that nobody can say, ah, you did this wrong, so now it's your fault. And we have no possibility, no chance to go back home. And this is, should be a right, not to be here in a campground. You know, we know that a lot of people are stuck in a house. In your, but it's your home. It's your house. If, if you want to go to the toilet, you go to the toilet. If you want to sleep, you sleep. If you want to use your internet connection, you use the internet connection. Here, it's all. It's even not safe anymore. It's not safe anymore. Last night they did a manifestation because like the situation here is getting really really unsafe because people are starting to uh, to steal from houses, to steal from people and to take advantage of this situation. So it's not safe anymore here for us. Hey guys, I don't know if you can hear but uh, they are making a lot of noise. Uh, cars, uh, drums, uh, they are trying to make noise because um, there is a kind of a manifestation since uh, all the roads uh, are locked down a uh, uh, lot of thieves are starting to rob uh, things uh, I don't know, so they are making a lot of noise uh, as a protest uh, to security, to safety here in Las Grutas Muchos ladrones que están aprovechando el momento de que no hay circulación en la calle y todo eso y están robando mucho. Instead of treating us like the problem, probably they need to focus more on the security of this town uh, because there are a lot of thieves all over. So they know that we are here, so everybody knows about us. I don't know what you are thinking, Argentinian government, Italian government. Uh, this is not the way to treat people. They are away from home and to just play with our feelings it seems wrong but we did uh, we fight uh, for you know have a plane uh, and they made some planes uh, 2,000 euro each to go f go back home nothing is going uh, how it should go it's f it feels so wrong many people are don't have the, the money to buy it. Also for the Argentinian people who are yes. stuck in Italy because imagine you are stuck in you know I, I, I can imagine imagine if I can I could see now the plane coming from Italy full of people yeah. and they don't allow me to go on a plane going back so imagine how frustrating it would be for them yeah. or for uh, for us uh, if it was the opposite uh. 2000 euro imagine there are here people there are a family of five six people imagine if they need to buy and are all people that they need help and they already bought a ticket for for 400 600 and the company said you need to buy it again <laughs> 
So you cannot use your previous ticket. You need to buy another one. So at 10,000, 12,000 euro for a family. And you know, the economical situation of all the world is collapsing. We need to consider that the flight is in two days. So we need to wait. Even if we buy the, the flight, we need to wait for the permit of the consulate. The consulate say, don't, don't worry. We can do the, the permission for you really fast. But even though we need to get there, we are, we are not flying there. We need to drive with Lucky Liu and we need like at least two days to get there. More than 1,300 kilometers then we need to leave. We have a place where we can leave Lucky Liu. A lot of people ask us where, if you have the possibility to go home, where will you leave Lucky Liu? We will leave Lucky Liu in a safe place. Luckily, we have this connection with Aldo and Florenza. Thank you so much that they are helping us and say, don't worry guys, we have this vacation home property. It's a uh, uh, holiday uh, house uh, in uh, in the uh, in the countryside yes. uh, where they can go and relax. Uh, and they say, okay, if you need, you can go be there. And uh, together with the house, they have a little bit uh, of space, uh, some garden or land. I don't know where we could park. And the difference between overlanders with the vehicles and travelers, they are backpackers. You know, a backpacker when they decided to go somewhere it's really fast but we have a vehicle that is registered under our names so we cannot with a TIP with a temporary importation permit that is not forever we have some times and even for our visas it's it's everything is limited and you have the responsibility we cannot live like kill you on the street just uh, some people said, ah, okay, raise your name on Lucky View and then take off all the, the plates and you go. <laughs> it's not like this. It's not like, it's not easy like this. And we are not irresponsible people. We are really responsible people. There, there are some people who have uh, some priorities. Uh, yes. There are old people, there are pregnant women and uh, families. Uh, and uh, what I feel is... Uh, that they are not able to pay and to go home so if we do pay that amount and we go home and we are not the priority like uh, Sarah is not pregnant uh, we we still have money to 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 survive here there are people who are not able to keep doing what to keep surviving so i i would feel really guilty to go back home knowing uh, that people that cannot afford uh, to go back home have to stay here and they are the ones uh, who should be rescued uh, now. Okay? Yeah, because they said in the beginning, they said, we will give priorities to all people, people they need medicines, pregnant, sorry, pregnant women and, and so on. But now it's not anymore a matter of priority, it's a matter of money. And this is so wrong, guys. This so is super wrong. wrong. We're sharing this with you because we wanted to share our experience, what we are going through. We, you know, that we. This love... is our reality. You yes, know. It's and what we are dealing. Uh... We are one of the few channels on YouTube, probably that they share other channels. We love to share. We have our YouTube series, Overlanders Quarantales, where we share stories from overlanders and travelers all around the world what they are living because yeah. we think that it's important to share what other people are living during this pandemic people they they were stuck somewhere so you know that we are this kind of people but at the same time we need to share even what is happening to us and not every day is ha ah, everything is perfect everything is 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 doing well I would like to say we need to do a plan uh, to make a plan but uh, actually we can't uh. and even our families guys don't they are really worried about us and our situation hi Luca and Sara this is daddy speaking I've seen all the difficulties you are finding to come back to Italy I just wanted to tell you that uh, we are a little bit concerned about you and Sarah, about uh, the winter coming, the cold. Uh, and also we would like to have you here close to us. Uh, you know that your grandfather is 96. Uh, I'm not that young. Uh, people are still uh, uh, dying in Italy. And uh, we really would like to have you here, to know that the family is reunited, even though we have to keep a certain distance. So I hope you can make it uh, with the help uh, 
of the authorities uh, and uh, and and come back please i really want to have you here thank you hi guys i'm dave sarah's brother and sorry for my hair it's been two months that the hairdresser does not see me well i've been asked what my feelings and thoughts are about uh, sarah and luca being stuck in argentina and as you can imagine it's not such a great feeling and uh, you feel uh, meaningless because you don't have the possibility to help and we know that the italian government doesn't help either and the result is that sarah and luca have been waiting for six or seven weeks i don't know it, it's it's horrible it's not so easy it's not great as a brother to stay here and wait it's true that they can eat they can walk they can uh, they are healthy, but that's not the point. The point is that uh, someone should be granted the right to come back home. Italy and Argentina are not helping. So uh, I have negative feelings and uh, I hope they can come back as soon as possible. It's painful to read some comments and aggressive. Um, well, aggressive is not the right word. Uh, mean comments something like i hope that you get the virus i hope that uh, uh, your family get the virus or i hope that you cannot go home i don't get why why you have to go back home uh, there's a lot of people stay there it's better to stay there and a lot of stories but it's true we all know the, the, the phenomenon of internet trolls it's full of them we shouldn't care but we read and it's important that we don't uh, react because that's what they want but if you read and you try to understand what's in this people's head it's, it's difficult to understand so as a brother I want to see my sister and uh, her boyfriend as soon as possible and uh, I'm pretty mm, tired of waiting so that's that's my feeling I'm tired of waiting and uh, I I feel and I see that Sarah is getting uh, every day more tired so I really hope to see her soon. Bye guys, peace. Hello beautiful people. My name is Darius Guazzini, I'm Luca's older brother. I'm uh, making this video to tell you a little bit about how I feel about having my brother far away from me. My brother and Sara are trying to come back to Italy, to come back home. And uh, the Italian government and the Argentinian government are not letting this happen. It is really frightening and we are really feeling uh, um, powerless and frightened by the idea of uh, not being able to do anything about it and uh, the idea of uh, not knowing where I will be able to see Sara and my brother again. It is really sad and hard to have someone of your family far away on the other side of the ocean. I really know Sara and Luca and i know them really well and i know that uh they truly they really try hard not to uh get us worried and they try to be positive the whole time and they are trying to entertain us through their channel through the the the, 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 the news they're giving us privately by our phones by the phone calls and um, they try to really um, go through everything with positivity, being free, being happy, which is in their nature. Now, knowing this, I am worried because I know the real situation and I know how dramatic it is, the situation they're living at the moment. They are far from home. They are in a different continent, an ocean is between us, and they're in Argentina, 
People are not talking to them. They're afraid of them. It's getting cold there. And they're totally isolated without being able to speak to anyone, to have contacts with anyone. And it looks like the Italian consulate, the Italian government, it's uh, playing tricks with them because they are giving news, then they're taking it back. And now they have this uh, plane tickets, they're selling these plane tickets for uh, like absurd prices. And my brother and Sara are uh, also representing uh, for more than 400 Italian people that are now kept in Argentina are not able to go back home. And uh, since they have more visibility, they are having that, re they're getting that responsibility to really represent all the people. We are scared, we are worried, we miss you. We miss you guys. Luca Saro, we miss you. Please come back home safe. Please, please find a way to take my brother and Saro back to our family again. We are really worried. We miss them.